Now that you have installed the video plugin, you can start to easily add new videos to your site from any other video sharing site, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. To add a new video, you'll come up to your admin nav bar to content, come over to where the videos plugin is, and click on the green widget to add videos. This will take you to the page to add new videos. And you will want a title for the video. The slug or URL for the video is customizable in this field and you can change it to whatever you want. The software will automatically use the title of the video as the slug and add that for you if you want to save some time. And so we have no categories yet for our videos. However, categories are really great for being able to organize and filter your videos. So let's add a category by clicking on this green icon and a window will pop up and we can name it whatever category we want. And I'll show you what that looks like after we're done. If you want to select an image file to customize what's displayed on your screen, you can do that. It's not necessary. Our software in Tenancy will automatically pull in the main page video image from the video you embed on the screen. So in this case, I'm going to just let it use the video image itself. And then you'll need the video URL from YouTube, Vimeo, etc. And I'll show you how to get that. So I'm over on my YouTube channel here, logged in to the Tenancy video, and let's just pick a video. We'll click on it, and then come look for, underneath the video, the share. Share or embed this video button will expand when you click on it. And you want to use the options to get the long link, and you see now this box has changed. And then you'll just come in and you'll copy it and you'll paste that link right here in the video URL on your tenancy site. If you want to add any tags, you can add tags that will be searchable just like other tags on your site. There is a simple WYSIWYG editor box here where you can add images, you can add the video description, you can link to other things in there. And then you have your permission settings where, again, if you uncheck public can view, you have your advanced permissions here. So you can have videos that only members can see, only specific group. You can add tenancy videos from our YouTube to your site and make them for admin only access. And then your staff can find training videos directly from your video gallery. In this case, we'll leave it as public can view, active, active, and then we're going to hit save. And so here we are on the video management page and we can click to view on the site. And now you have your very first training video on the site here. You see we have our description, we have the tags here. And then we have our categories here on the left side where it automatically includes all videos for people in the software. And then our new category that we just added, training videos. If you continue to add multiple videos, you will end up with a beautiful gallery like the one we have here on Tenancy. And I want to show you one more thing, and that is when you come into videos, and I'm going to show you on Tenancy where we have multiple videos, you can come in to search them. And you're back here where they're organized, and it looks a little different than some of our other search pages. And that is because we wanted to make it easier for you to organize and manage the order that your videos are displayed in your gallery. So you have the move widgets, like on your navigation, and if we want to change the order that these are displayed on the screen, we can simply move them. And then we want to hit save at the bottom to save our changes. Tenancy will automatically put the videos that you upload in the order that you upload. For example, when I made this membership module training series, I wanted them to display an order starting at one and going through nine. So after I'd uploaded them all, they were in the order I uploaded, and I went back in and was able to move them. So now I can have them in this nice series. I can come over and view it on the site. 
And when I come and segment them here, you see that they are in order visually on the screen so that it makes it more friendly to users. So that is the ins and outs of our video gallery plugin that is now available for you to install and later this year will be on every tenancy community site that's launched. So go have fun making videos.